You know, big dum dum. Can we jump in the water? No. All right. So I say we venture forth on the path. And uh, got my arcane acolyte skills. Uh oh. What's happening? Special delivery. Special delivery. Do I have an option? Can I not pursue that quest? What is this? What is this thing? You discovered a lower stone. Five of every lower stone to receive a permanent of bonus. All the songs in halls of lore, their echoes none more grand. Okay, uh, someone mentioned the comments that I can compare right from here. So currently I have a crude iron kite shield, and this is a crude iron kite shield. Okay, so I can equip it, and then a crude birch staff. Um, nine ice damage, four freezing, eight burning. I like the burning damage better. So I'll take it just for the heck of it. Now what is this? Okay, Sagecraft for gems. Good. I'll have to explore that whole thing later on. So many flowers. I, I, I don't know. I'm not really usually a big fan of crafting and harvesting in, in RPGs. So I'll try to collect some of these if they're along the path. But I'm not going to focus my entire route just on running past flowers. Like this guy. What, you are a very angry, angry man. You're a very angry dude. You hurt me? You're just chilling. Okay. Just chilling. That's good. Look, it's a chicken. Hello, chicken. I lit it on fire. You poor bird. Can I carry it as a prize? All right. Well, flower, flower, nothing. Here's a nice little village. There's lots of people standing around. What the heck? More angry boar creature. You discovered a new location. So let's check out the world map. Press Y. So this is local, I'm guessing. World map. Holy cow. All right. So here is the world map. And as you can see, it is mighty big. We've got all, oh my God. All these crazy areas like Crystal Land. Desert world, jungle, animal kingdom, you know, mountain land. That's kind of where I am. This is a humongous map, and it looks pretty darn awesome. That has me, like, really excited. That just makes me smile. What's going on here? Everyone just stand What's back. going on? The warden can't work. We keep moving. This business doesn't concern you. Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fey, I'd suggest you move along. No reason to be out in the open with the Red Legion about. Brutal. Who, who are you even talking? I don't even know what's going on. I just have this flaming staff. You should probably respect that. What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace. At least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. Okay. What is the Court of Summer? You got these people that made trees. I got that much. You might call it a Fey Nation, one of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be most of the time. It's the other Fey, the Winter Court, that has spawned the dreaded Tuatha, a vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave all mortals. Hmm, I'm out of here, man. What is a, what's a crystal war? That's a new one. Are you playing a trick on me? I would hope so. We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally, I'd decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. All right. Tuatha are the invincible demons that keep coming back from the dead. All right, now who is this guy? Herc. Hercules. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fey may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. So, what happened? She's like crouched on the ground in a fetal position. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fey. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. I will help you because I'm a kind person and because I don't speak and I understand what it feels like to be helpless. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... 
untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. Okay, so he said go up on the hill, right? Hope you I will do that. This poor fae creature thing, I mean, she doesn't look like she really has very many severe wounds. She kind of looks like she's got a tummy ache, but um, <laughs> I'll go help this guy anyway. This is a town. Shops and so many icons on this screen, I don't even know where to begin. Um, got a giant treasure chest. And what is all this? Infernal Helm, Shepherd's... Oh, this is the, this is the Mass Effect stuff, right? Yeah, buddy. As you can see, it requires, like, three might, but it's got, as the set, you know, you get bonuses. That's really cool. This is all, this is the Mass Effect armor that you're going to get, and then you'll be able to, I believe, use it. I, I don't know if it transfers or if there's something, that, and then you get Mass Effect 3, or if it just works here for this. Twin Souls, what is that? Average speed. But it does seven physical damage, and it's pretty freaking deadly looking. Fire damage. Mysterious rings. I'm, I'm. Let's equip them. Yeah. And then what is this infernal helm? I can't equip it, right? Yep, I cannot do it. That's my doorbell. I'm gonna take all this stuff. Thanks. New twist of fate word. You follow your path, uncommon coolness and ease, rarely letting your situation suffer from extremes. Okay. I think this is from playing the demo that I have access to all this, these little resistances and stuff. And now I have these. Whoa! I've got. I'm like Tira from Soul Calibur. Bam! I've got magic rings. Magic rings. Who are you? Welcome to St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mfaru is at work. You, what do you need? You mean you need that nose ring removed, bud? We at St. Odwigs have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. I go find Brother Egan. Mitharu be praised. His Mitharu. order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. All right, bye, buddy. Um, so it looks like there's lots of factions. There's side quests. There's flaming rings on my back. I'm a freaking oh man! Look at whoa! Are you serious right about now? This weapon is pretty darn sweet. Kind of a fan. Um, yeah, and that guy's just sleeping. What's this? I like towns that just have like random, you know, treasure chests laying around. That's my kind. That's where I want to live when I grow up. When I grow up. All right. So what? Got. I think the yellow one is my main quest, and the white is the side quest. I'm guessing. Kind of what it seems like to me. Let's see how these. Let's test these rings out in combat. Okay, everything is this way, so hopefully we can go find the Fae, we can give us the medicine, or come down from our mountain and heal the poor. Okay, oh yeah, oh you're vulnerable to fire, Bogart. Goodbye. See ya. See ya, Humphrey. I like these guys, they're like little teeth. Oh, oh, really now? Really, that's how you feel? Hey, okay. Oh, bam. A shock. So you can be stunned out of almost all your attacks if you're hit. It looks like it's kind of dangerous, um, but good to know. I mean, this game is so pretty. I mean, it's really, really gorgeous. Really got a lot going for it visually. Kind of a huge fan. Wolves, I'm gonna let them be for right now. Um, what? Let me just make sure here. Okay, that's Brother Egan. So. Okay, we'll take care of Brother Egan first. I guess 
I didn't know if it was gonna. I thought the yellow might be my main quest, and then you know the um, the white was a side quest. But apparently, you can only have one quest like mained, basically, you know, quote unquote mained right now. So that's the one. We'll take care of that one before we go find the Fay, Fay Weaver. It looks like Brother Egan's right over here by the traveling circus. What are you, what are you hitting, what are you hitting, Mass Brother Egan for, man? The Bogart and you. You delay charge in there. You're vulnerable. You're vulnerable. You're dead. You're dead. We take care of these guys. You gotta come back, man. Yes. What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmaran, the Eternal, messenger of the Fey folk? Speak. My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. I think he's lost his mind. Wait. Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos, and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> uh, who, who, what's going on? They are Fey Twins, and they are beautiful, magical creatures. They've promised to teach me magic, to help me see the world as it really is. All they require of me is to fetch for them this relic. It's quite a bargain, believe me. Hmm, you'll die without me probably, but, uh, you know, if you choose that, that's fine. Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. Where is this treasure? It is in the caves. Okay, the caves. Yeah, kind of already said that, man. For the wild fell. All right. It sounds rather silly, doesn't it? I had a feeling it would. I need a mage name for when I become all powerful. For when my magic is so great that no one will dare dispute me. What about Abner the visionary or Malik the nefarious, Lord Zaltanus? No, then those were the good ones. Okay, so basically this guy's losing his mind. See you later. And uh, it's okay. Ugh, he's just run just taking off. Where did where did it go? Run. Watch him run. Look, look at this guy. Okay. So let's look at quests here, just how this all works out. Main is into the light. Um, no faction quests as of right now. Side quest, we have Crisis of Fate. Two Fate promise brother you can magical power for trace relic. I'm pretty sure they're just tricking him and trying to kill him. Um that's the fave that's that one, so. I got the active. We'll make this active for right now. Actually, let's see. Here's what I want to see. Okay, I'm following him. Oh, he's right there. All right, so next episode, we will follow him to the waterfall and take care of that in the side quest and, and get some more combat practice in. We'll come back and help the Fey out and move on to our own destiny. But for right now, it is our time to move on to your destiny until the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Drink so much. Until next time, we'll see. You all, later.